Hi Aries, how are you? If you're new, how welcome and I'm Miss Michelle. And this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that the roles could be reversed between you and your person. And with that said, Aries, uh, let's move on to see what the universe has for you, Aries. Please and thank you for Aries. What is the message for Aries? Please and thank you, Spirit. Please and thank you. Seven of Swords. Oh, Libra Gemini. Okay. The Tower in Reverse, Scorpio Energy, the Strength card, Leo Energy, um, Five of Swords, again, Air, um, the Page of Wands, your energy, the Six of Swords in the Reverse, the Two of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, and overall, let's see what we got, the Hermit Virgo Energy. So, okay, so somebody has some sort, some sort of like sneaky energy here. Um, if you're a cross watcher, also welcome. Doesn't mean that this is you. This could be your person doing this to you. You know best. So there's definitely some sort of sneaky um, energy. Somebody is um, afraid to commit completely. Oh, that's a card. Completely because of a failed relationship. They're trying to gain strength to get out there, you know, and start from scratch. But it seems to be that there is a big, a big void, a big. Um, heartbreak a big dissatisfaction brought to them right thanks to this breakup it seems to be that somebody is unable to embrace this new beginning this could be your person aries because they cannot move on from an ex they cannot let go with the two of ones, even though they're moving forward and they may not be with that individual, they do think of them. And if that individual were to come into their life, they will take them back as this person that we are talking about has not moved on from their from their ex. With the hermit in reverse right here, this is Virgo energy. Um, I feel like it's not like they keep a lot to themselves and this might be something that you already know. But at the same time, I feel like somebody who is not clear about what they want. This person, instead of working on themselves, do some shadow work and doing some healing of some sort, they're just going around having sex with people or hanging out with people, however you want to call this. And I feel like you came across this individual and they could be everything you think you want but just so you know they are not ready to commit to you whatsoever let's see what's going to happen if you continue with this person or talking to this person what else can you give me for aries about the situation with this individual so it seems to be that they're living like i said before they have aries energy the fool and the high priestess they're not using their intuition they are Pretty much just having light commitments, having fun, not wanting to take anything seriously. As like I said before, this person is still hurting from that past relationship. Oh my God, okay. So the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse right here, this is Virgo Taurus. They're not going to give you anything valuable and they know and they don't want to give you anything valuable as they are 200% aware that they are unavailable emotionally unavailable but at the same time it seems to be that they don't want to accept that out loud or let you know or they don't want to let you go because at the same time they need somebody to distract themselves and you are somebody and i'm gonna say yes say it and it's gonna be quite heartbreaking but this person is using you in a way to perform as a hobby just to get that person out of their head others of you they're utilizing you to make that person uh jealous the ace of wands yep like a like a like a okay yep they're using you most of you are being used by this individual because they want to make the other person that they really want to be with jealous with a wheel of fortune they seem to be separated from that individual for a long time but look at this the nine of cups and reverse they have not opened up emotionally so they're bu building up a lot they are holding on and holding back a lot they're not being completely honest with you about what they want. I feel like they don't tell you yes, but they don't tell you no. So keeps your high hopes. Your high hopes, I should say. But the magician right here. Keep in mind that if you wonder, this is air, uh, air, this could be Libra. Very strong Libra. If you think, oh, are they? do they know what they're doing? Like, 
um, do they know that this is hurting me? Do they know that this is making me confused? Yeah, they know. They know. They lucky are playing a game, a playing a game, a mental game to keep you entertained, to keep you around them, giving you attention, to keep you around, but not giving you the attention and the love that you deserve, which is what you want, a relationship. Justice, Libra energy in reverse. This connection is not even fair. This person is very fake. They're not honest. Uh, they have wishy washy energies. This is a liar. Excuse me. This is deceit at its finest. They don't really want anything serious with you with the Nine of Wands in reverse. This is also cheating. They could be, if you think you guys are exclusive, let's say that you guys are talking to this person, let's say that you guys are intimate with this person, you, this person is not telling you the truth when they say they're exclusive, okay? They are not being exclusive. Now, let's say that you are single, Aries. So let's say like, oh, what is happening? What is she talking about? Keep in mind that I am a fortune teller, right? Meaning that I will tell you the future. If you were to connect with somebody and this happens this situation happens please don't disregard this reading as this could have been a heads up for you before this even happens so you don't fall into that other so we are already in a situation like this and you guys need to snap out of it and just move on because this person is low-key cheating on you and cheating could be many things it depends what you consider cheating other so if you like i said before this Somebody has been telling you that you guys are exclusive, but they're not being exclusive with you, which it's cheating, which is a lie. So they're completely lying to you left and right. The hermit, Virgo energy. Do they feel bad about lying to you, Aries? No, they don't feel bad. They don't feel any remorse because they just don't think about it. They don't think about it because if they were to think about it, they will actually pick, uh, you know, nick point every single thing that they are doing wrong. But because they know they're doing something wrong, they don't want to acknowledge it. So they don't think about it. Do they mean it? They're doing it with all the intention to satisfy their needs. They're not thinking about you in any way, shape or form. With the page of pentacles and reverse, are they thinking about, oh my goodness, I'm playing with Aries and, and they could be with somebody else. They could be actually with somebody who really cares. They don't care about that. They don't care about your time. They don't care about your emotions. They don't care about how you feel. They don't. All they want is to satisfy themselves and all they want, what I'm seeing here, is to be fulfilled. Look at this. And this is at a cost. This is going to be at a cost. Heartbreak, breaking your heart. Because this is cheating. There is somebody in the line besides the ex that they can't forget about some of you this person is already seeing their ex again others of you they're seeing other people because they can't forget the ex but they're making you believe that you guys are exclusive or they're making you believe that you guys could lead to something and this is just lie after lie after lie the five of swords you see this person here they're looking back and they laughing. They're like, Haha, I got Aries so stuck. Like they know they're lying to you. They know they're playing you. And I don't see any remorse whatsoever. Like I don't see them sitting down and being like, dang, I'm doing something wrong. Like, no, I don't see that. What else can you tell me? This is not your soulmate the emperor aries energy you need to get your power back aries this person is not your soulmate this person is not the one for you this person is just utilizing you draining you energetically physically you are being too naive and you are not listening to your intuition and some of you will get mad at this reading but that's the reason why you're triggered if he or she is so faithful and you know this is not true right why are you triggered so whoever is getting triggered instead of fighting me which I don't know, you guys, is pretty much analyze why you trigger over a general reading. No matter how much you try, Aries, no matter how much you sacrifice, no matter how much you please them in any way, shape, or form, they are not going to give you the place you deserve. Queen of Swords and Libras, Libra Energy. They're not going to give you the place you deserve it don't matter how much you sacrifice because they do not want to work on it because they 
do not want to work on it because it is not valuable for them. Too many cards, Spirit. Please and thank you. One card at a time. Well, this is close enough. Look at this. They're hiding their intentions. They're hiding other intentions. They're hiding other things they're doing. A lot of things are going to come to light very soon, within two weeks to two months for others to view. A lot of things that they've been trying to hide is going to get out of hand. Whatever it is that they've been trying to hide to you is going to get out of hand, and you're going to find out exactly what it is. You're going to be so shook about this person's real self, this person's real intention. Because some of you won't let them go until it happens. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere that you think it's going to go. It's not going to go anywhere. You and them are not going to be in a relationship that you want. And this could be if you go like, I'm dating them. You are going to be disappointed soon. Unfortunately, you're going to actually end up heartbroken. Because this person is playing you low key. Look, judgment. And... Somebody's going to see your person out with somebody else and they're going to take a photo and they're going to send it to you. That's how you're going to find out. It's going to be like public. A lot of your friends or somebody in your family, somebody, everybody's going to know what they've done to you. So keep in mind that it's going to happen like that. They're going to take a photo or they're going to find out that they're out on a date with somebody else and they're going to call you and be like, hey, I got to tell you something. So it's going to be on a night out and you're going to be very, very shook. Look at this. Heartbroken. Your cup completely empty. So, if you're single and you encounter somebody with this kind of behavior, walk away. If you are with somebody with this kind of behavior, walk away. If you are with an Aries, this could be a cross watcher, whatever it is, walk away. But again, this is most likely for Aries. What is the final message and or advice for Aries? I see a heartbreak. <laughs> heartbreak, disappointment, Taurus energy. But it's actually going to help you move away from them. This is unfortunately what you needed to push yourself away from this person. So you can actually get away from them. But this ending in heartbreak is going to bring a new beginning. You are not going to feel like yourself right away. Of course, you're going to have to go through some, you know, weeks or so of healing. But guess what? After you're healed, you're going to meet your true soulmate. It seems to be like it's a Gemini. Um, it seems to be six to seven months, six to seven weeks after. It depends how deep is your love <laughs> from this individual Aries? But it seems to be that somebody that it is 200% an air sign is pointing out to be an a uh, Gemini is coming in with a love offer. Somebody's gonna save you literally from not despair, but from the fact that you may think like everybody's the same. They're gonna give you a different perspective out of that. They're going to lift your burdens. They're going to take away the perspective of love that that person gave you. The Herman right here. This person is going to want to connect with you on a higher level, more emotional level. And look at this. They're going to show you exactly what this person was. You're going to see like, holy moly. Like I was suffering for somebody who was not worth it. So overall, you're going to find somebody else. But the person you are interested in right now is not the one. They're holding you back. They're emotionally unavailable. So at the end of the day, you are going to go through the process so you can let them go. So you can see them on the real light. So you are actually able to meet the right person. Now I'm going to give you the initials of the person who you are connecting with right now. Let's see. This person that is a cheater. That's a liar. Ennis and Nina. T.S. and Tyler. S.S. and Sam. H.S. and Hamburger. Or Hillary. <laughs> F.S. and Frank. O.S. and Oscar. Q.S. and Kessel. E.S. and Ian. R.S. and Rose. And Z.S. and Zebra. Or Zane. Now I'm going to move to the initials of the new person. Let's see. 
let's see, let's see. Let's see their initials. U.S. and Umbrella, Ellis and Leo, Zia's and Zebra, C.S. and Cat, S. and Sam, P.S. and Patrick, um, Q.S. and Kesso, K.S. and KFC, and then the bottom, I.S. and Ian, and R.S. and Rose. Keep in mind that for both people, this could be the first, last, middle, or even a nickname, and it don't matter if they have the same initials or so, they're not the same person. When will you know? Whenever you meet them. Now I'm going to give you a potential time frame for all of this to happen. Keep in mind that this reading is being general. This is more like an estimate. So keep that in mind. Not all of you are going to represent or have the same outcome. So let's see. So we have, it's better to give this more time to come in um, by the next season. Uh, eight months. The momentum is rolling, stay positive, it's on the way. And then what does your intuition feel the time frame is? That is the answer. And at the bottom says before the holidays. Before I go completely, I'm going to give you a message from the Unicorn Oracle. So let's see what the universe has for you to conclude your reading Aries. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit. So, okay, it says freedom. And it says live wild and free choose your freedom claim your independence beloved or beloved it says prepare for your life partner romance is returning to your relationship believe you are lovable sanctuary and it says take time out of out from the world spend more time alone meditate or go on a retreat and last one says passion and it says uh, do what excites you get fired up about your life increase your energy levels so this is officially the end of your reading aries please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, with that said i am hosting a free reading giveaway as every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers i host that so if you want to win or be considered make sure to look at the video so you know what to do um now my my channel is like a couple hundreds from uh 11k once i get to the 11k i'm gonna host another free reading giveaway um it's gonna be uh multiple things so if you want to know exactly what i offer make sure to find the video with that said i most likely show you my social medias if you follow me on instagram i will be follow you back i also have tiktok if you're interested in my personal reading please go to the link on the description box below as it's gonna take you directly to my website and it will tell you exactly the services and the days i'm available and if you can't find it there go to my instagram and it's gonna be on the bio by book now with that said I do not have any multiple accounts. I do not have the same accounts over and over and over. I would that said, I never message anybody first. I never offer any free readings. I never ask for money. So if it's not on YouTube with my face, it's not official. So be careful of scammers as I don't do none of that. With that said, guys, thank you so much for the love and support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to win with me, make sure to subscribe as also I have a live this Sunday for a one card reading for everybody I can so if you want to be considered and you want to be one of the people that I can read make sure to tune in early that day so it's going to be from 7 p.m to 8 p.m cst so with that said guys uh also I do lives every Sunday so unless something happens I'll always let you guys know but if everything is good every Sunday there's going to be a live for one card reading for everybody I can once again thank you guys so much for the love and support please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be back soon Bye.